Uh, next, we have to understand the constructor. What is the constructor? How we can cons create constructor now? So, constructor contain code for initializing data members of a class. So, when once created object, it is getting called and it is helping me to allocate memory for all the variables. So, it is getting invoked automatically. We never call the constructor. Have the same name as the class and do not have a return type. If you have a return type, then it will become methods and it will behave like a methods, not constructor. So you have to call it. So if you look at here, I have a class cake and cake class is having some variables. Okay. So these are the properties and attributes of this cake class. And this is my constructor. Where what I'm doing, I'm initializing the, all the members here that what masses happy body mom base two and shape equal to square. Okay. Super versus this. What is the super and this keyword here? So super keyword help us to call the super class constructor, super class method and super class variable. So it help us to access the methods of and variable of super class and it must be the first statement in the constructor of the subclass. You cannot call this super in a method. You can call in a just constructor only, right? But you can call super keyword. Let us say in super class you are having some method m. So you can write uh, super dot m you can call like that. But this super block or super parenthesis and all you can call only in a constructor. What about this? This it is used for calling same class constructor, same class method and same class variable. So that is what difference between this and super. If you can see this example here, what we are trying to do here, uh, I have one class and that is a super class, another is the subclass. Okay. So what we are doing, another class is the uh, super this demo having main method and I'm saying new subclass. So this line will do what? It will create an object of subclass. Creating object will call this constructor. This guy is doing what? Super 10. It is calling super 10. So it will go to the super class and it will call this guy and say 10. So A will be 10 here and now this 2020. So this will call the same class constructor and passing the 2020. So this guy will call this guy and pass 20 and 40 here and display the masses 20 and 40. Super class with A and B 20 and 40, right? After that, what we are doing now? So this line will get executed and say super class with A that is 10. Now the work is over here. Now it will come super dot area. I am calling the area method of super class. So this line will call this guy and display super class with area. Now what we are doing? Super dot P. I am storing 20 to where? To P variable of super class. So P will become 20. Now I'm calling super dot this. So this this method will get called here. So this block is get called here now. Okay. So you have seen here super super dot area super dot P super. So this helping me to call super classes stuff only right. And now I have one message subclass. So this uh, guy will call now subclass. And then we are calling this method from this object. See, just creating this object has done this much job. And that object is calling the method. And that method is what? This method. So in turn, it will call the this method. This method, is it there in the subclass? No. Where it is? It is in superclass. So it will call from superclass because it is coming through the inheritance hierarchy. Right? So this this will call from here to here. 
this is we call this guy this one okay good now so this is the super and this example so you have seen this super quiz solution this is the output that we have seen what is the output of that okay now modifiers so modifiers define how the data members and methods are used in other class and object so we have a static final abstract synchronized native transient so these are the modifiers we are having a static as we know data members are shared by all instance of the class and final so final means if once in a slice and having some final variable no one can change it abstract we use with class and method only so if we are having some method like let us say there's one method avoid m but i don't have a code for void m so i'll just say what semicolon so i'm closing i'm not opening curly braces and writing the code here so if you're writing this will not execute your code and then you have right here one keyword that is a abstract keyword so it means this method is abstract it is not having body the implementation is blank so if you're writing this abstract method in a class then class must be abstract you have to make abstract class class name so that is a abstract we have okay uh, next is the static variable here if you can see static variable are also called as a class variable if you are having a static method is called as class method and you can call it directly here so access file static and data type variable so this variable you can call it directly from the class and they are in slice at class load time so when class loaded it is getting in slice if you can see this example class customer it's a private in total customer so customer total customer plus plus and then here get total customer so here we don't have any uh, static variable right so what is happening now we are creating two object of this customer class here so customer 1 and customer 2 right in both cases it is creating object here and then having total customer separately right in the heap so total number of customer is what if i am getting here it is giving me one only so what will do now so customer object is created two times here why is the variable total customer one it should be two right so we have to make it in this case static so once making it a static look at here we are having here one a static in total customer this is a variable we are having and here we are doing total plus plus so we are creating object here customer 1 and customer 2 in the stack so in the heap it will make one single total customer see here so first is making creating object and calling this constructor so making by default it is zero and it is becoming one here and then again i am creating here so it is getting two okay so resultant is what it is coming to so both object are sharing the static variable that's the benefit of making a static variable here scope of variable as we know it is a local and class scope there is a two scope here if you are declaring some variable inside the block inside a method it is a local but if you are declaring a variable inside a class then it is a class scope and the benefit is what you that variable you can use throughout the methods whatever you are having in the class but if you are declaring a variable in a one method you cannot use in another method right because that is a local scope 
and this is the main method which help us to write the code here and this is the entry point of execution so Java interpreter access this method and start executing the code from here so once the code is here it is getting started it will not look outside this you have to call it here then only it will go to that place and then call it.